Hey everyone, I'm Pastor David, and this is a seal moment. I'd like to talk with you for a moment about walking in your identity. Romans 8, 14 tells us, for as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons, and I would also add daughters of God. You know, knowing how to walk by the Spirit of God um, in your identity as a son or a daughter of your Heavenly Father can totally transform the way you think about things, the way you make decisions, and just the way you walk out your everyday life. Now, one of the greatest revelations that you can ever get regarding your identity is found in 1 Thessalonians 5.23, where the Apostle Paul writes that we are spirit, soul, and body. In other words, you are a spirit being that possesses a soul that lives in a body. And so when we walk through times of uncertainty or even crisis situations, um, the way you look at things, the way you make decisions, or the way you even walk out uh, your daily life, they're going to be primarily influenced by those things, by your spirit, by your soul, or by your body. Now, when we talk about our body and our soul, we're basically talking about our mind, our will, and our emotions. And so when we walk out these situations or make decisions, and we're just using our mind, our will, and our emotions, it doesn't mean that that's wrong because God created us with these attributes to be able to have intellect, to think, to be able to have willpower of our own, to be able to have feelings and emotions. But when we're only using these things to make decisions and walk out our daily life, we will actually find ourselves living at a level that's incomplete and below our identity as a son and daughter of God. But when we submit these things, these natural attributes to the Word of God and the Spirit of God, and by the way, the Word of God and the Spirit of God always work together. And so when we submit these things, these natural attributes uh, to the Word of God and the Spirit of God, we find a transformation taking place to where we're not just, say, operating by our mind or our intellect. Now we're operating in the wisdom and the knowledge of God because we have the mind of Christ. We're not just operating in our own willpower, in our own strength. We're empowered by God. We're empowered by His grace. And we're empowered now by His Spirit. And we're not just operating in our own feelings or our own emotions. Now we have the peace of God operating on the inside of us. Now we hear, continue to hear that still small voice of God operating on the inside of us. So when we're submitting these natural attributes to the Word and to the Spirit of God, there's a transformation that's occurring in our identity and we're living more in the completeness as our identity as a son and a daughter of our Heavenly Father. This is why Jesus wrote in John 6, 63, the words that I speak to you are spirit and they are life, meaning it's a life giving to our spirit. They are life transforming. And so these things that are naturally occurring in our lives, when they're submitted to the Word of God and by the Spirit of God, they become life-giving. And so when we walk in our identity as a son or daughter of God and we're led by the Spirit and our thoughts, our decisions, and our actions are now guided by the Word of God and the Spirit of God, they become life-giving. So I want to encourage you today to walk in your identity as a son and daughter of your heavenly father and be life giving wherever you go today. This is Pastor David. This has been a seal moment. God bless you. Have a blessed day.